is a 2023 Ford Tremor. We're gonna show you the before, we're gonna show you the during, we're gonna show you the after, and we're gonna make this Tremor rumble. 3.5 liter twin turbo, Ford's number one motor in their F-150. Let's get started. In stock trim, the 2023 Tremor, which has a 3.5 EcoBoost, is very, very, very potent. Makes 380 foot-pounds to the wheels, makes 338 horsepower to the wheels on the dyno. That's gonna get you down the road extremely fast and do a great job, but it's so inconsistent. Every pass we ran as a baseline was completely different. So, Wally has had a chance to pull the data look at what the data is and make some changes that's the process we're going to do right now pull the data make the change build a tune put it back in pull the data make a change until we get this correct we're not looking to make a race car we're not making, looking to make this a quarter mile truck we want this to run the way it should have run from the factory it's got a cold air intake let's take advantage of that and get some power to this customer All right, all I can say is wow. This is the first step that Wally has taken with this. He's working with the fuel curve only to enhance the boost curve. But look over my shoulder. 500 plus foot-pounds of torque, 400 plus horsepower. Not only 400 plus horsepower, but we are 92, I think, or 93 horsepower more than we were an hour ago when this truck arrived. Wally's still gonna wanna refine this tune a little bit. He's gonna work his way through it. He's just making sure the fueling is correct. Then he builds the boost curve to match the fueling, and then he works on the ignition timing. This is an incredibly powerful 3.5 liter in the Tremor. Wally made his way through and refined this tune so that he was happy that it'll be very consistent. Not good if you just go out and you make some power, but you can't back it up. You just make one pass. Oh, look at here. This makes the same power over and over and over. The temperature difference only drops the torque a tiny bit. The horsepower actually makes more every time you run it. So we were at 453 horsepower at the wheels right now. When we look at the torque as it came in through the door was 388. Now that's peak torque. So your average torque is lower than that, but the peak torque was 388. We'll show you that over here. So this is your peak torque here, and it just falls away as it goes through. Now we make our peak torque way up here. It's a completely, completely different torque line. It still follows the natural curve of the engine, but there's a lot more breadth in here. And the main thing is that it's a truck, so we want our torque to be centered right here. When we're in low RPM, we don't want to have to rev it up every time. Horsepower was here, and now it's here. The numbers are impressive, but the way it's going to drive, the better fuel mileage, the way it's going to react to that, it makes the transmission react better, and the driver's gonna have a big smile on his face, and that's the main reaction we look for.